He's a big scrambler. Um, we're going to have to do a good job of uh, containing him and making him pass, making him beat us as a quarterback and, uh, you know, not let him scramble too much. And uh, I think that's the, the big uh, threat, and I think that's our big emphasis is uh, stopping him this week. How did you feel like you guys did in kind of containing Mariota in the pocket last week? I thought we actually did a great job of uh, containing him. Uh, he had one big run, uh, I think, late in the third quarter or something like that. And, um, you know, it was a penalties and penalties and stuff, which ended up hurting us in that game. But overall, uh, I think we did a good job of containing him. And, uh, you know, I think we'll do a good job this week as well. Did you learn from those penalties as a team, too, how, how bad it can be? Yeah, exactly. I mean, uh, we we seen that from this past game. Uh, we had to lead the whole game, and uh, you know, we really lost on small details and then penalties. And uh, you see how much penalties can cost you a game. And uh, you know, it it sucks to to be able to play pretty well and still lose a game because of penalties. And uh, you know, I think the guys uh, realize it. The coaches realize it. And uh, we did a big emphasis on, uh, you know, hard count, all that type of stuff on, uh, in practice this week. So we're working on it. Uh, I mean, it's something you pay attention to because that's what we're playing for. Obviously, everyone wants to go to the playoffs. Everybody wants to play for a championship. And, uh, you know, it sucks that we're knocked out of that. But at the same time, uh, you know, we see it every year. Uh, teams check out when, when they start to lose. And uh, when they're not going to the playoffs, you, you see guys not in. And uh, that's what I love about this team is that everyone's still involved. Uh, we're still having our defensive meetings as players. Uh, we're still doing everything that we're doing, and uh, you know, in the beginning of the year, uh, you know, we're not changing anything. We're still we're still working towards, you know, getting better. Did a game like last week ever kind of threatened to be served out the way it kind of seemed like there was some more frustration with that one. Than yeah, it was a lot of frustration, and uh, you know, but I think. When that happens, it brings us closer together. Uh, you, you see the guys who are really passionate and uh, upset. You, you could tell those guys care about it. And you could tell those guys want to win and they don't want to keep losing. And uh, you know you see that on everybody in here. So it's like you can tell the guys are tired of it. They want to they win, no more losing. And uh, you know I, I, think it, I think it shows a lot. You guys are obviously grinding away to try to get this win. And I don't think anyone doubts that. But I'm sure you guys kind of see the fans on Twitter that are not exactly pulling for you guys to win down the stretch and kind of rooting for the draft position. Mm. How difficult is that for you guys to, to see in the stomach that while you guys are kind of working so hard to get a, a W here? Uh, I really haven't seen it. But, um, you know, I'm sure that's that's what happens like every year. You know what I mean? And. Uh, I think that's hard to deal with just because obviously we're putting our bodies on the line. We're grinding. We're waking up early. Like we're here all day watching film and meetings, like working on everything we can to, to get a win. Um, you know, no matter where you're at, uh, guys don't want to lose. You know what I mean? We're not going to go out there Sunday and like prepare to lose. Like no one's going to prepare to lose. And, uh, you know, so that's, that's hard to see. But at the same time, um, you know, the fans aren't playing. We are. So at the end of the day, the fans may want to uh, lose and get a draft pick, and but like in the end of the day, like the players don't. So we're gonna we're gonna be the ones playing, and we're gonna be the ones still wanting to win. In the big picture of things, the frustration you talk about, what would be your advice, not just for the players but the whole organization for the future, so you don't put yourself in a situation like this again next year? I think the biggest thing is just like we notice the small details and like penalties, like affect us and. Uh, it's like we start to work hard on it like later on in the season when we start to when we start to notice it. And it's like it's something that we've been talking about since the beginning of the season, but it's like since it's not affecting you yet, you don't really like notice it. You know what I mean? And it's like once once you start noticing it, like last week when we lost because of penalties, it's like that's when guys are like, Man, like let's fix that. You know what I mean? But I feel like when we put emphasis like that in the beginning of the year, it'll be a little bit different. More of a sense of reality. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah. Good? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it.